Introduction The Art of Handmade Greeting Cards Welcome to our video on the art of handmade greeting cards. In this video, we will explore the wonderful world of crafting personalized cards for every occasion. Handmade greeting cards are a unique way to express your creativity and show someone you care. Whether it's a birthday, anniversary, or just a simple thank you, a handmade card adds a personal touch that can't be replicated by store-bought cards. Join us as we dive into the techniques, supplies, and inspiration behind creating beautiful handmade greeting cards. Let's get started. Getting started, essential supplies and tools. Now that you're ready to dive into the world of handmade greeting cards, let's talk about the essential supplies and tools you'll need. To create beautiful cards, you'll need a few basic items. First, you'll need cardstock or blank cards as your base. These can be found at any craft store or online. Next, you'll need a variety of decorative papers, such as patterned paper, scrapbook paper, or even old magazines. These will add color and texture to your cards. Don't forget about adhesive. You'll need glue or double-sided tape to secure your elements. Additionally, having a pair of scissors, a ruler, and a bone folder will come in handy for precise cutting and folding. Finally, don't forget about embellishments. Ribbons, buttons, stickers, and stamps can all add that extra special touch to your cards. Now that you know the essential supplies and tools, you're ready to start creating your own handmade greeting cards. Let's move on to the next section and explore different card-making techniques. Design Inspiration – Exploring Different Card-Making Techniques Now that you have your essential supplies and tools ready, it's time to dive into the world of design inspiration for handmade greeting cards. There are countless card-making techniques that you can explore to create unique and beautiful cards for every occasion. One technique is stamping, which involves using rubber or clear stamps to create images or patterns on your cards. You can use different colored inks and experiment with various stamp designs to add a personalized touch to your cards. Another technique is embossing, which adds texture and dimension to your cards. With an embossing machine and special powders, you can create raised designs that will make your cards stand out. If you're feeling adventurous, try incorporating paper quilling into your card designs. This technique involves rolling thin strips of paper and shaping them into intricate designs. It's a great way to add a delicate and whimsical touch to your cards. Don't forget about die cutting. With a die cutting machine and metal dies, you can easily cut out shapes and designs from paper or cardstock. This technique allows you to create precise and intricate elements for your cards. Lastly, Consider using mixed media techniques to add depth and interest to your cards. Experiment with combining different materials such as fabric, ribbon, buttons, and beads to create visually stunning cards. Remember, the possibilities are endless when it comes to card making techniques. Take the time to explore and experiment with different methods to find your own unique style. In the next section, We'll walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on creating a beautiful handmade card. Stay tuned! Step-by-step -step tutorial, creating a beautiful handmade card. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we will guide you through the process of creating a beautiful handmade card. Get ready to unleash your creativity and make something truly special. Step 1. Choose your card base. Start by selecting a card base that suits the occasion. You can choose from various sizes and colors of cardstock or pre-made blank cards. Consider the theme and color scheme you want to use for your card. Step 2. Design your card front. Next, it's time to design the front of your card. You can use a combination of techniques we discussed earlier, such as stamping, embossing, die cutting, or paper quilling. Let your imagination run wild and create a design that reflects your personal style. Step 3. Add sentiments and messages. Now, it's time to add sentiments and messages to your card. You can use rubber stamps, stickers, or even handwrite your message. Think about the occasion and the recipient's preferences when choosing the sentiment. Step 4. Embellish your card. To add an extra touch of beauty to your card, consider embellishing it with additional elements. 
You can use ribbons, bows, sequins, or even small charms. Just be careful not to overcrowd the design. Sometimes less is more. Step 5. Personalize the inside. Don't forget to personalize the inside of your card. You can write a heartfelt message or include a photo or a small keepsake. This will make the card even more special and meaningful. Step 6. Finishing touches. Lastly, take a step back and review your creation. Make any final adjustments or additions if needed. Once you're satisfied with the result, your beautiful handmade card is ready to be shared and cherished. Remember, the process of creating a handmade card is not just about the end product, it's about the joy and love you put into making it. So take your time, enjoy the creative process, and let your imagination soar. In the next section, we will explore how to add a special touch to your cards through personalization and customization. Stay tuned! Personalization and customization, adding a special touch to your cards. Now that you have created a beautiful handmade card, it's time to add a special touch through personalization and customization. This is where you can truly make your card unique and meaningful. One way to personalize your card is by adding the recipient's name or initials. You can use letter stickers, die cut letters, or even handwrite their name in a beautiful calligraphy style. Another option is to customize the design of your card based on the recipient's interests or hobbies. For example, if they love gardening, you can incorporate floral elements or use patterned paper with botanical prints. Adding photos to your card is also a great way to make it more personal. You can include a picture of a memorable moment or a cherished memory that you share with the recipient. Don't forget about the inside of the card. You can write a heartfelt message or include a quote that holds special meaning for both of you. Lastly, consider adding small embellishments that reflect the recipient's personality. It could be a tiny charm, a favorite symbol, or even a mini envelope with a hidden surprise inside. Remember, personalization and customization are all about making the recipient feel loved and appreciated. So take the time to think about what would bring them joy and incorporate those elements into your card design. In the next section, we will conclude our journey by sharing the joy of handmade greeting cards. Stay tuned! Conclusion Sharing the joy of handmade greeting cards As we come to the end of our journey, we hope you have been inspired to explore the art of handmade greeting cards. The joy of creating something with your own hands and sharing it with others is truly special. Handmade greeting cards have a unique charm that cannot be replicated by store-bought cards. They carry a personal touch and convey heartfelt emotions in a way that words alone cannot express. By mastering the art of handmade greeting cards, you have the power to brighten someone's day, celebrate special occasions, and create lasting memories. Whether it's a birthday, anniversary, or just a simple gesture of love and appreciation, a handmade card can make a world of difference. So go ahead, gather your essential supplies, explore different techniques, and let your creativity flow. Remember, there are no limits to what you can create. Each card is an opportunity to connect with others and spread joy. Thank you for joining us on this creative journey. We can't wait to see the beautiful cards you'll create and the smiles they will bring. Until next time, happy crafting!